This is a really typical type of head cut in wet meadow systems. You can see it's only about a foot tall. We've got some some bluegrass, some regular mesic meadow grass up above, and then you'll see just below here, all of a sudden we start to get these sedges coming in. And this tells us that we have some groundwater in this system. Um, these sedges are definitely being able to persist. It looks a little dry right now. We're in the drought year. These sedges tell you that this is wetter down below this head cut. This head cut is bleeding water out of it. And we're, we talked about before this being a big sponge. And so we'd like to not have this head cut continue all the way up the valley bottom. The head cut control structure we're going to use here is called a rock rundown. Basically, we're just armoring the lip of this head cut and providing a rocked armored surface for the water to cascade down over. And we call that a rocked rundown. It's the same principle as all other head cut control techniques in that we bring rock right up to the lip of this existing vegetation. We'll prune it back to live roots and we'll lay those rocks so they're stable right on the lip of that head cut. We don't want to be higher than the head cut because water will just divert around. We get more concentrated flow. We don't want to be below the head cut because then we haven't stopped it. It'll keep moving on valley. So it's really important to have the exact elevation. You're meeting the exact elevation of the top of the head cut. So the rock rundown then holds the green moist roots in place at the top and the water cascades right over the top of it, rumbles down the armored surface and doesn't cause any more erosion. And then we've stopped the advancement of this head cut up valley with a rock rundown.